Well, hello and welcome to Monday's Art Time with Ego Rabbit. It's a little dark in here. I got lighting situations going on in the back. I tried to adjust it, but I ran out of time. Actually, I just thought it was okay, and I sat down, and it turns out it's not. So, But it's all right. It won't make a difference when we get to the art board, right? Well, I am your host and individual who likes to fancy himself an artist and creative individual, Jesse W. Craig, a.k.a. Ego Rabbit, which I'm not really a rabbit at all. But hey, look, I've got this shirt, right? Ego jumping through a plate glass window. This is an old shirt, boy. This is an old one. An old one. Still fits. Unbelievably. Or maybe it's just been stretched out over time. You know, time does that, right? Anyway, <clears throat> so we are freshly back from... Oh, that I... I don't think I plugged the website yet. So yeah, you can check out me and my stuff. And it's not just me; it's my wife, and it's all it's all there at our website, charismakills.com. Okay, now back to what I was saying. We are freshly back from Contraflow Ten, which incidentally was the last ever Contraflow. It ran for ten years. I was at every one of them except for Contraflow Two, is because I was out of state. And it was a pretty fun Contra flow, and I got to run some demos slash test plays of my horror role-playing game, tabletop role-playing game, Weird, and that turned out really well. So, everyone had fun. At least they said they did. It looks like they had fun. And uh, it took place about the time, I think, after the costume contest, so there was... We had two players dressed as Nadia and uh, Laszlo from, you know, that show. What we do in the shadows. So that was pretty damn cool. Um, They may put some pictures up. I'm not sure. You can check that website out. It, well, it's been posted in the chat, but it's ContraflowSciFi.org. Now, next year, we will... We've got the wheels rolling on being at CoastCon. CoastCon is the oldest convention in the in the Gulf South. It is in Gulfport, Mississippi. I'm sure. I'm sure the chat box there will correct me if I'm wrong about that. <clears throat> but I used to work for CoastCon. I think it worked about three years. I was the gaming director, director of the game room. So that that was fun. Um. Yeah, so why don't we, uh, I, I can't think of anything else, so why don't we just jump into it? Oh, oh my goodness, it was my birthday, that's right, it was my birthday, and, and I want to show you what, what my wife got, Biloxi, yeah, okay, it's in Biloxi, no, she didn't get me Biloxi, but she got me Usagi Ojimbo, booyah, action figure, Usagi Ojimbo, I have not opened it, not because I'm some anal toy collector that will refuses to take it out of the box. It's just because I really ain't had time to stop and open it yet. All right. I also got to do some physical art there at Contraflow. And here we go. Ha! I did a big old piece of one of the creatures from from Weird. I actually got to use it as a prop in the game that I ran. Um, there are a few things that I'm not happy about with this. So I think what we're going to do today is, is I've already scanned it in. We're going to redo this digitally. So we're going to re-ink it digitally and it cleans it up, right? Right. Um, I'm, I was working on another piece. I'll just, I'll just show you. I got the leg all screwed up, so it's been it's been liquid papered out. Um, it's Mad Dog from Apocalypse Pizza. I need to finish his legs. And then, of course, there was the very first first pin I did was Spider Monkey. Now I had no intention of doing art at the convention. It's just that I was there and I happened to have bring my sketch pad, but I didn't bring any of my other. Like actual drawing things. Uh, however, I did have a pencil and some Sharpies. So, that's why the line weight is kind of screwy. Alright, you know what? Let's just jump into it. So, I've already got this 
scanned in. Let's 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 jump on over to the artboard. All right. I've got it scanned in. I have a new layer. Boy, it is warm in the studio today for some reason. <sighs> yeah. Get a sippage of water there. <clears throat> All right, and I think I'm going to start. <clears throat> oh, well, let's just start. Let's just start. Excuse me. I won't mute this mic while I cough half a lung up. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this body started. Let me hear your body talk. Oh, well, I better not sing. <laughs> not just because I'll get dinged for copyright. All right. And it doesn't have to be exactly... Like I, uh, like the original, you know how I go. However, I would like it to be at least as good. I really enjoyed drawing this one. There was a couple of times I almost just threw it across the room. Hey, Diamond, how's it going? Get in my belly, yep. Yeah. Now, one of the things is I don't like these. I call them fingerlings. These little dealios here. Um, all the other ones were like spread out, ready to grab whatever was falling. And these two were just like, you know, in the front, like the, like the mouth of a crab or something. Like, wee, 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 wee. so I think I may redo those. Erasey, racy, erasey, racy. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I won't worry about drawing those. I will get the rest of this body in. See how fast. I've got a new hobo glove today. Um, I think the old hobo glove was getting threadbare. And that was causing problems for me. And of course, Hobo Glove allows me to, you know, I can draw something I'm not liking over here. Not liking that. Let's fix that. Hobo Glove keeps the, uh, the keeps the iPad from recognizing my palm. Which this software is supposed to not recognize your palm anyway. But it does. Alright, ye old head is in there. Let's get the let's get those lips. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know what? I'm wondering. Let me increase the line. I want Need some heavier line weight, I think. Let's go to 25. Let's go to 25. <clears throat> Shoot, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna go through the settings and see if there was a way to turn on something that'll show you when my cursor touches the pad. That way you can see where I'm at. Oh well. So yeah, Nadia and Laszlo, they really enjoyed Weird. And they are ready to become test players. As a matter of fact, they have talked about coming down <laughs> to my hometown where I'm at to join a test play group. It was... pretty pretty cool pretty cool 
All right, I, I see something here I do need to fix. Give me this, give me this back. Every time he talked, he did a good job playing uh, the standing character, but every time he talked, I, I heard Laszlo's voice. I say, oh boy. What kind of an asshole are you? You know, something like that. I say, oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, that was awesome. Oh, got turned on to some new conventions at North that we're looking into going to. Uh, I mean, I, I think we, I don't know, Sherry, did we discuss it or did we just ponder it to ourselves and at the same time? But I believe we may have actually entertained the idea of going back to the Chiller Theater in, in Jersey, in the Meadowlands there, and, uh, and bringing Weird and Chris McKill Studios there. That was the first convention we ever went to, so. Thought about it. But then there's also a convention we found out about called the Dark Side of the Con. Um, where's that one at? Baltimore. Or how they like how they say it in Maryland? Baltimore. Baldy. Baltimore. Baltimore. I used to live there. Not in Baltimore, but in Maryland. Or Westchester. Was that it, Sherry? Westchester, Baltimore. Is that where we live? Westchester. Baltimore. Or there by Bel Air, but they called it Blair. New Windsor. Okay, New Windsor. I didn't get to run the game that I wanted to run, though. I want it to run. I have the vehicle rules for weird. And I wanted to run that one. And I didn't get a chance to do it. So so maybe we'll get together with the United Adventure Company. And we'll do the, the vehicle one. <clears throat> as a Halloween game. And open it up to folks. So if you're out there. And you'd like to play weird. Definitely will be doing some Halloween games. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and get these tendrils in here. But I mean the, the, the fingerlings as I call it. The fingerlings. I wonder if I should do fingerlings on another layer. Hold on, let's see. Let's see if we can get away with as few layers as possible this time around. So, I'm thinking about putting this image <clears throat> in the main book. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I say, oh boy. There wasn't anyone dressed like a... Shit, what's the energy vampire's name, Colin? Oh, look at that. Oh. Uh. Ooh, 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 that reminds me. I should show you guys my scary farmer. Especially those of you who don't follow the follow us on the old Facebook or you may not have the Facebook. Let me show you scary farmer. I did this while sitting at the table. 
There's Scary Farmer. I had fun with Scary Farmer. I found some new brushes that allowed me to, I think. It, he's, got a, he's got a little blood on him. Just a little. Just a little. For those of you who who may have witnessed the the last weird Halloween game that was streamed with the United Adventure Company, they fought a big scary farmer with a potato sack and a pitchfork. <clears throat> oh, well, <clears throat> this is a big scary farmer with a potato sack, pitchfork. <laughs> scary, scary, I know, I know. I'll, I'll turn it back to the teeth. There you go. Come on now, give me my pen back the way I want. Whoa, shit, damn. All right. Baltimore. I still need to check into that convention and see exactly what all it is. Um, we used to work for a convention that was kind of, you could kind of call it the dark side of the con, or in, at least in that vein. It was called Exoticon. <clears throat> First convention I ever worked for. What was that, Sherry? Uh... Damn, was that still in the 90s? Yeah, that was still in the 90s, wasn't it? That was still the 90s. <clears throat> no, it couldn't have been 2000, really? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Because I got, I started. Yeah, but I got, uh, I was still working as a private investigator. When... When that convention came, when I was working at that convention. Because <clears throat> remember in the program book, there was a picture of me wearing the, the agency light, the agency hat. Oh, well, we're losing, we're losing track of the point, I think. <clears throat> It, it was not an all-ages show. It was not. No. Not an all-ages show. Alright, I think this will... This may work. I, I still may get... I still may be getting these... I didn't want the fingerlings to all be like identical. I want the creatures to kind of have this this mix, mix matched weirdness about them, you know, because they're creatures. All right, all the little fingerlings are there. All right. Let us clear. Alright, so let's get some, let's try to put the, oh shit, what the hell just happened? Alright. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. So what I did get to run though is the game with the fish bait, the modified fish bait game, fish bait modified into a one shot. Because you can really only do one shots at conventions. You can't do a whole big old module. Much to my dismay, everyone survived. Kind of, I kind of don't. I don't know why I don't like it when that happens. It's not that I'm an asshole game master. It's just that I usually start these test plays going, "All right, this combat, the combat was made to be deadly. The game is supposed to be deadly." So. Be and then all of a sudden everyone survives. <clears throat> all right, let's get these these teeth in here. These these grabber teeth. I did reduce the amount of damage that the babies do. So, that may have had something to do with it. They did end up killing the main creature, though, uh, in a very fun way. They managed to escape the camp in a car. They kept trying to shake the creature off the car. But it fell along the passenger side, but was still holding on to the side of the car. So... They saw an uh, eighteen wheeler coming down the road in the opposite lanes. So they they basically skidded the main creature, um, scraped it off of their car with an eighteen wheeler. Um, I didn't even roll for damage. I was like, you know, that's damn cool. I, I cinematically, that's damn cool. I'm gonna let it happen. Let them have it. Let's do something with this. Hmm. I, I don't think I'm making that big enough. That should work. And actually, these fingerlings are supposed to have, like, barbs on them. But, I didn't do it. I didn't draw the dim barbs. Oh, don't like that. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, I've got, uh, I'm so anxious to run this next game, the one that I wanted to run. I call it the Paladin. I really wanted to run it. It has a subtitle, too. It's called, it's called Paladin, Eight Cylinders from Hell. I think that's the perfect B-grade horror name. <clears throat> so I'm definitely going to run that for... For the United Adventure Company as a one shot. I I took So you see I have these themes for weird games, right? I try to like I try to create thing I heard I try to create like games based off classic horror films, right? So for a paladin Paladin, you'll find some Christine in there. You'll find some of uh, the car. You'll find some Wraith. You'll find, hell, you'll find Jaws in there. You'll find uh, the Duel. You'll find Death Wraith, uh, Death Proof. Uh, elements of all that shit in there. 
<clears throat> and I really, really think that it would make an awesome audio drama. Like the audio from this. And I, I'm very much considering. I've done audio dramas before. So I'm considering writing a script for this one. Where should I put these teeth on another layer? Let's teeth the let's teeth it on another layer. I've got the miniatures made for the game. Uh, I created maps, highway maps, all kinds of stuff. It's great. It's great. It's great. Made a whole new damage category for weird. For this game. Called Mangled. For when regular damage just doesn't. It just isn't enough. So like if you do get. So in the regular damage category. If you take trauma. You know it's like okay. I'm taking some trauma. But will I be alright? Well. If you fall into the mangled category, just go ahead and assume you will not be all right. <clears throat> Plus your limbs, and you'll have tons of special effect damage and all kinds of uh, situations going on there. I'll definitely announce when we do that, Diamond. I'm sure. I'm sure you'd like to play in that one. So. Uh, if so, we'll, I'll reserve you a spot. But, uh... I'll make an announcement. I'm going to start... The Charisma Kill Studios newsletter. Because <clears throat> I know there's a lot of folks that don't do the social media. <clears throat> so I'm going to start like a monthly newsletter. So folks can sign up and get additional information and things. Alright, so we've got teeth in there. Oh, we're actually doing pretty good time. Pretty good time today. Let's see what other one. Oh, I, I was going to run Black Friday, the... The Christmas game. Uh, we printed out. We printed out a map of the mall. Diamond, you remember you played in that one. You you played the jouster. <laughs> we printed out a map of the mall on like eleven by seventeen glossy paper, and it it looks like. Damn, if I had it here, I'd show it to you. Um, it's in the front room, but it actually looks like if you put it in a case, it would be one of those you are here's when you walk into a mall. Like, you are here. Didn't get a chance to run that one, damn it. That's all right. Segway jousting, for sure. For sure. I will say this, I'm very happy with the rules of Weird the way they are right now because new players pick it up pretty much instantly. Um, I only had to go over the rules once and then 
make a reminder, I think, to one person. But other than that, everyone had a copy of the playtest rules, and but they really didn't need it. Like going over the rules once, they got it. And I am extremely happy for that. Because that's what I wanted. All right, let's erase all these little angulas here. <clears throat> so, so I, I think the base, I think the rules themselves no longer need playtesting. Those, those are done. Those are done. The mechanic itself, that's done. It's it. It works. <clears throat> um, I need to do some tweaks on character creation. There's still some things I'm not quite happy about on that. Um, yeah. Really happy with it. Like the only thing holding me back, honestly, is getting the book done. Ugh. Just one, just one man, just one man. I've considered hiring out like freelancers to do some help, but it's got that kind of money, you know. Right, we've got teeth in there. Let me call this layer teeth. Throw some little, some little snaggly teeth in here. Like so. Alright now. There was gums. Let's get these. Get these gums in here. There we go. Alright, I, I think that'll work. I think I'm happy with the fingerlings. The, f the fingerlings. Are, I wonder if I should come up with a better name for it. Alright, Diamond. It is absolutely always a pleasure to get the chance to hang out with you, man. So, you, uh, get you some sleep. Get you some rest. Crap, I'm doing these on the wrong freaking layer. Son of a bitch. All right, let's lock the team down and go here. All right. So I initially it was ugly as hell. This this throat was like <laughs> it was like ugh. The only thing I could say is like it was like you were falling into some spiky sphincter looking thing. 
Uh, I was not happy with the way that was coming out, so I just put in these big black shadows. So I felt like I was falling into the sphincter. The mouth, the mouth sphincter. Now, oh look, I missed some teeth. There we go. Alright, so these are like the interior. These are like inside of the gill plates there. I'm going to go ahead and put these eyes in while I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> uh, but I will use a ruler for this. I will use a figure ruler. I think I think Let's see how this looks Hopefully that doesn't just look like come out. I hope I'm hoping that still registers visually as an eye. And not just part of that fingerling. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, let me grab a sip of drink here. Excuse me. Feeling some heartburn coming along. And Mexican today. It's good Mexican, but apparently I'm of the age now. But, well, <clears throat> apparently there is an age at which 
Mexican food does not agree with one. All right. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Whoopsie. All right. I'm going to go on a new layer. But mouth. All right, so I can do things like this and erase them if need be. Actually, no, I think I could have put a special rule in there. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to just do it my way. Get some texture lines in here. Fishes have got tongues. I, I mean, I'm assuming fish have tongues. I know that there's some kind of parasite that, uh, <clears throat> yeah, they've got to because of that parasite. That, that, that thing that gets in a fish's mouth and eats its tongue, but it acts like a tongue. So it like gets first pick of everything the fish eats, it gets to eat. And then once left, it goes to the fish, I suppose. All right. I think the majority of the detail inside the mouth is going to come from color. So I better not get too crazy. Make it like... Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Put some more detail in. Some little detail -y parts, bits and parts and pieces. This might actually help it register as an eye, I think. If I put some, if I put like a, a ridge. Yeah, that helps. That helps out a lot. All right. Right. 
Ooh, you know, I don't like the way that's looking. We need to fix that for sure. For sure. For sure. All right. Good catch. Good catch. All right. Still not completely. It doesn't have to be perfect, but damn it, I need it to be somewhat right. All right. Yeah, I think that'll work. Again, I'm not going to put a ton of detail in because we're going to color it. What time is it? Do we have time to color? Well, we only have two minutes left, so. The original is underneath here. Boop, boop, boop. So there's the original with the little fingerlings. And here is the new. With the larger fingerlings that are spread open. Like, ready to receive. We are ready to receive you. <clears throat> um, I don't know. The little fingerlings might have been better. But the bigger fingerlings look fine, so... We'll keep them both. I believe everything is... Oh! Hey, what? Wait, let me finish your in here. Let me get the fins in here. All right, fins in. Oh no, we have ten minutes left. What am I thinking? Oh, well, I guess we could start her. Let me go ahead and lock every layer we're not messing with. Alright. Color. These old boys fall into the greenish grayish color area, so. Yeah. I didn't figure that was going to work. I do see some areas that I need to come back and touch up. So I'm just going to use lasso tool here to speed this up. Lasso, if you can't see it, there's gotta be a way where I can, where where my uh, where my cursor, it's gotta be a thing where my cursor actually shows where I'm pressing. It has to be. I'll go through the settings. It seems like it would be a Clip Studio setting, not like specifically a Clip Studio setting. Not anything to do with streaming, but.
Get these little fingerlings. <clears throat> All right, so yes, this is just this is just like a, a placeholder slash midtone color. And if you've seen me do this before, you know I like to use it because I can put on transparency lock. <clears throat> and with transparency lock, you can basically go crazy coloring and the color will not go on any transparent pixels. It will only go on pixels that have color in it. Cheat? The hell are you saying? Right. Find any little spots I may have missed. <laughs> Everything looks good. Also, see if I turn this turn this ink layer off. You can see it's all solid color, and that helps out when it comes to blending my colors together. All right. Uh, five minutes left. Let's go ahead and call it. Woo! First, let's save this file. Let's save as Fish Chief. Let's make it a Photoshop deck. Although, it's probably a big Photoshop deck. Let's go ahead and call it a big Photoshop deck. And save. Uh, no, let's keep it where I can access it on the drive. Safe. Alrighty. <clears throat> Where's the mouse? Here it is. Well, here we are. At the tail end of another episode. Got to do, uh, well, got to do some monster art. For, for Halloween, in the spirit of Halloween, monster art. Alrighty, well, you could, as always, you can catch edited streams, edited versions of these streams on our YouTube channel, which is Charisma Kills TV. We will be putting other content up there besides edited versions of these streams. I want to put some YouTube exclusive stuff, so, and it might, just be shorts it might just be time lapse shorts of me doing stuff so um you can see more about weird on our website charismakills.com which you can also find our little social media links to facebook um twitter and all those other places um you can see videos a lot of well, you can see recordings of live test plays of Weird on the uh, YouTube channel of United Adventure Company. That's United Adventure Company on YouTube. Just check that out. I believe the link will show up over there in the chat. And until then, well, until Wednesday, at least that's the plan Wednesday. We'll be back Wednesday. What we'll do, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll color this. Maybe we'll move on to something else. Who knows? Alrighty. But until that day comes.
have have a good night and enjoy your the rest of your your sleepy times or goodbye